Right then, welcome to the second episode of our series, Terriers to the Top. We, I just finished the second season here, and we managed to scrape relegation again. We finished 15th this time. Uh, it was a pretty topsy-turvy season. Uh, we had a few ups and downs. We started the season really strong. You can see here. We started the season rather strong, but we hit some really bad injury patches around this area. It was uh, December and just, just went down after that. And we just never recovered. Our form just went down. Um, so let's start with the transfer first. Right then, transfer. We made some pretty good signings. We got Dembele from Celtic for 16 million, raising to 21.5. He has been phenomenal. He has played 31 games, 15 goals, 2 assists. Uh, he has been our star player, without a doubt. But he had some injuries too in the middle, and um, like right now he's injured with his dislocated shoulder. But he is 22 years old. He is fantastic. Only problem is that he has a, re a release clause of 65. Pretty sure someone's going to break that and get him. Matt Ritchie was signing of the season for us. Basically, we bought him for 30 million uh, from Newcastle. He has been phenomenal. 7.39 rating, five goals, nine assists. He has been really, really good for us. David Ospina was another inspired signing. Uh, we got him pretty cheap for uh, 7.5 from Arsenal, and he has been our primary keeper. His rating of 7 is, is just phenomenal again, but he missed a few games in the middle in December when he got injured, and that's when our really our, uh, slump began, unfortunately. Uh, Shane Duffy, we got him as our another of our center backs because we were lacking in quality there, and he played 36 games, 7.04 rating. He had, a, he had a pretty good season as well. He is pretty solid. Uh, we paid 6.5, it wasn't cheap, but still, he's only 27. He's going to stay with us for a while. And uh, he doesn't cost too much uh, wages-wise. I'm happy with, with the signing as well. Uh, Lorenzo Di Silvestri, we bought him as a backup right back. He didn't really play many games. Uh, I think keep him around for another season uh, doesn't hurt. Or, uh, we'll, but we'll, we'll see, it, it, it's, it's, not, it's not too bad. Uh, this is a guy that we bought center back that we brought from uh, from Brazil, uh, Deportivo Alves, not Brazil, he's Brazilian actually. So he was a backup backup guy, um, but he got really unhappy because we were in playing him, up, playing him obviously, gave him a couple of games here and there, didn't do too well, hopefully he can improve a little bit next season or not, he is okay being 18.5, wages is okay for a backup player, it's not that bad. Uh, and then we just bought a bunch of free transfers that were just young, young guys. Uh, for our under-23 team, that doesn't cost at all. Other guy we bought free was Robert Hood. Uh, he was also a backup center back. He didn't play many games. Uh, it was just a one season long uh, contract and I'm going to let him go at, at the end of this one. He was injured a lot actually. And then we let our star goalkeeper from last season go because he wanted to move to West Ham. At that point he was valued at 4.5 and I thought Getting 10 million for him, for him was a great deal, but uh, yeah, now he's valued at 13 for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, he had a decent season, I think, with them. So okay, he wanted to go. We let him go. Warner, uh, we sold him for 7 million. I think that was a good deal for us. I didn't really see him fitting into a team with Dembele and Steve Mooney playing up front. So he had a decent season with Middlesbrough. Not score that many goals, but then again, he's not a goal scorer really. He's just more support supportive striker. A couple of other people that went away, some loans, um, doesn't really matter. So that was our transfer window. Uh, we, we made some really good transfers. We had 50 million transfer budget and uh, we, we made use of it. We, we don't have any money left. We were transfer budget remaining and we went over a wage budget a little bit. So our season started really strong. Losing to Stroke 1-0, but then we won against Man City. That was pretty good. First goal for Dembele there. We won this time against Burton Albion in the EFL Cup. Dembele with 2. Then we lost to Arsenal and that was not a surprise we won against Ipswich it was our 1-0 winning streak Ipswich with Dembele Arsenal in the EFL Cup oh, that was something it was fun and then West Brom and Chris Lowe scoring that goal then we won great against Watford this was a very satisfying game because one of our young players Jack Payne who I did not think would make into the first team. He had a surprisingly good game. He played a lot of games, a rating of seven. He, he surprised me, to be honest. I still don't think he's ready for the first team. You know, 
yeah, so we'll, we'll leave someone in AM position. But he kept playing good and I kept playing him. It, he had a good game. He scored two goals and then Dembele scored two goals. So Dembele was getting up there, but everyone played really well in this game. It was fun. Chelsea, we lost. Not a surprise. Millwall, we lost on penalties, unfortunately. They had a sending off 57th minute and we could not capitalize at all. Schindler missed their his penalty, which is, it doesn't happen very often. He's good with penalties. They scored all of their penalties. It's unlikely. So we lost against Millwall, which is unfortunate. Uh, we came back winning against Leicester away from home, but Schindler scoring a goal and then Matt Ritchie scoring a penalty. Man United, we drew with Herrera was sent off for that, but uh, couldn't score a goal. Leeds, we won 3-2. This was a good game. Dembele, Dembele started the score with right there. It was a beautiful goal. They came back with, with a goal of their own. Caicedo. They're finishing the game, uh, finishing that passing off. Dembele moved the ball forward and Billing finished it. That was a really good move too. And it was time for Dembele to finish one more great dribbling and finishing there. And they scored one more goal later, but that was it. We won 3-2. Pretty neat. So here is where our slump begins, unfortunately. We lost to Southampton. And this is where Ospina got injured for, I think, 10 weeks, 9 weeks. It was a big injury. Um, and the problem is, we did not have a backup keeper. So in transfer market, I tried to sign two more keepers, but each of them went away to another team. They just signed for another team. And at the end, I did not have enough time. So this guy, our backup keeper, who's valued at 350K in 23 years, very average, but we had to play him. Did not end well. Overall, his rating was okay. We lost to Southampton, lost to Newcastle, even though Dembele scored there. We lost to Everton, we lost to Tottenham, we lost to Crystal Palace. That was five games in a row losing. Uh, Bournemouth, we drew 0-0. Liverpool, we drew 2-2. We should have won this game. They had a player sent off, but it's one of those games. Finally, against Stoke, we come back and, and win after a month. Uh, it was pretty crazy, uh, but Matt Ritchie scores there. Matt Ritchie with a goal in the second minute and then Christopher Schindler completes the scoring. So all across the season, I've been getting these niggling injuries. You know, they'll be out for three days, two days, three days, and then by the time next game rolls in, they'll be kind of ready for it, but not really. And it's always a hard call, should I play them or not? Because Demville is really the best that I have. I don't have a lot of options there. So Hartlepool, we win 3-0, but we get big injuries to Matt Ritchie and Steve Mooney for that matter. City, we lose 3-0. I mean, can't really do much there. Dembele had a really bad game. And even though our keeper's rating is 7.5, I wonder if they fixed the rating in this version in FM18. But his rating was really good. But again, you have a keeper who's, who's suitable for League 1 side and you're playing him against Man City. So that doesn't really work. We lost against Arsenal. We won the game against West Ham, even though we had Hawks sent off. Kachunga scored this crazy goal in the 90th minute. It was crazy. We won 4 0 against Ipswich Town. Uh, uh, with Dembele scoring two. That was nice. Dembele coming back to scoring form. Drew against West Brom. Bristol City. FA Cup 2-0 easy victory. Chelsea we lost 1-0. That's okay. Tottenham. FA Cup 5th round. We drew 1-1. This was a good game and we actually did, did really well. Middlesbrough we lost 2-0. This one hurt a lot. So basically this starts our long downhill trajectory. Lost to Middlesbrough. Lost to Tottenham 1-0 on the replay of our FA Cup 5th round. Lost to Leicester. Lost to Man United. Lost to Leeds which really sucked basically. We should have won that game. Uh, lost to Southampton. One against Newcastle 7 nil 7 nil I mean I don't know what happened in this game I honestly don't know I, it's kind of bizarre Jack Payne scored in the 26th minute Aaron Moy with a goal Dembele with two goals Philip Billing Schindler and then Thomas it was uh, yeah bizarre roller coaster they just had a terrible game. Right. So in the middle of nowhere, we went 7 0. Then we lost to Everton. We lost to Liverpool. We lost to Tottenham, even though we scored two goals. It, it was a good fighting game. We fought till the end. 80th minute scored a goal, and I thought we might make another one. We could not because um, Dembele got injured here against Everton and he had to sit out. So that was a dislocated shoulder, by the way. So Bournemouth, we lose 2 4. Not happy about that at all. Spina did not have a good game. And then last, we went 2 0 with Ince and Philip Billing scoring a goal each. So that was our topsy-turvy season. Again, a lot of losses, but we secured Premier League status for another season. We did a little better. 
we won 11 games against eight last season so we did slightly better we have better players now we have good base to start our next season this season chelsea won the league with goal difference they won 5-0 against man united and after that they just rolled through but yeah this 5-0 victory that's that's what gave them united lost on goal difference their second Tottenham, liverpool completing top four city lost the fourth place in goal difference as well their fifth out and sixth arsenal are out of it they are seventh now on the other end leeds united stoke and ipswich town are out by some players from stoke actually look into it maybe shakiri uh, we need a am we can't be playing our kid all the time maybe butlin yeah maybe wimmer even or barahino we'll see i tried to buy him and he ditched me for a stoke what you get sucker he didn't even play for them what the hell if switch down leads we'll see if we need to buy someone championship brighton and wolves are definitely coming up one of these teams will come on so we'll see who comes up the end of season awards Richie won fans player of the season, Richie won goal of the season, Richie won signing of the season, and young player of the season with Jack Payne. He played so many games there. 4-4-1 was the one that we used the most. And uh, top scorer was Dembele, highest rating, uh, Richie, most of us is Richie, best pass completion, Moy, Jonathan Hogg, 12 yellow cards. So at this point, we really need a DM. Hogg is not cutting it. He had to play a lot of games, but rating wasn't that great. And then Jack Payne, although he had a pretty decent season, we need an AM who can play there really well. So we need to buy a defending midfielder we need to buy an am we need a backup goalkeeper and maybe a central defender but we will figure it out and uh, once i do the business and i'll play the next season and then i will see you on the next one thank you for watching